Hi, this is Mark from Tetriki. I hope you are well. This is number 90 of 260 uh, free business performance coaching conversations that Rob and I are going to have with you this year. Um, this is a pre-recorded one, unfortunately. Both Rob and I are unavailable at nine o'clock South African time tonight. So this is a recording. But please post any comments you have and I will endeavour to get back to you within 24 hours. Um, I'll please also just uh, on the link, have a look at our book and download the book uh, if you think it's going to benefit you. Um, I think it's also important in, in these uh, sessions that you understand who is talking to you and get to understand them a little bit more. Um, I shared a few stories about my past and how that's influenced me previously. So I thought tonight I'm going to show you some pictures and I'm going to talk through some pictures. And these pictures are what I have up in my office. Um, and what they are are reminders of who I am and what I'm working towards and for and why certain things in my life are important. Um, I'm going to talk through them in no particular order. So I'm going to show you my first photo here. That I've taken this off my wall. That is, that's the base camp of Everest. Now that's one of my, uh, all these things are on the list of things I want to achieve. Now the base camp of Everest for me has multiple reasons why it's on my list. One, because I think it's stunningly beautiful to be able to wake up in the morning and look at the highest point of the earth. I think secondly, the physical and mental challenge and the logistical challenge just to get to base camp, I think is something that is uh, very exciting and stimulating for me. I think physically pushing myself is something I love doing. I love hiking. I love really testing myself in trying conditions. I think it's um, a great way to learn a lot about yourself. And um, as I, said, I think it's uh, one of the most beautiful parts. I think it's stunningly beautiful and I love soaking up natural beauty. So one of the things that's on my hit list is getting to base camp to Everest. So drum roll please. The second thing is, that is a picture of Lapland. I love living my life through my son's eyes and seeing how my life is can be different by thinking slightly differently. So one of my dreams is to be able to get my son to have a Christmas in the snow. If I can get him to Lapland before he's 10, it would make me the happiest man. So. I want to be able to try and get my son and myself to uh, spend Christmas in Christmas Village in the North Pole, or as close to the North Pole as possible, and really just to get to experience what it's like and stay young as long as possible. I think both from um, Seth and myself, I think it will do us the world of good. So second thing on my bucket list is to visit Lapland. Third thing, don't know a map of the world. I want to be able to say, I want to step in, to set foot in every single continent. I would like to be able to have experienced different parts of the world. I'd like to have learned from different parts of the world, learn from different cultures, meet different people. I'm very, very fortunate that when I look at a map, the friends I've made over the years are dotted all over the world. And it's a great opportunity to learn more about um, yourself and others. So on my hit list is to be able to step foot in every single continent. I'm not doing too badly. South America is my next target and I'd love to be able to try and get there as soon as possible to enjoy all that that continent has to offer. So on the link of continents, next photo, the Olympics. Um, I've spent a lot of my time working in hockey and been very fortunate to work with Olympians in the sporting context, and I would love to be part of an Olympics. I would love to be able to volunteer at Olympics, coach at Olympics, just to be part of and the Olympics. So it's one of my dreams. Um, I haven't quite worked out when, which Olympics and how yet, but it's something that's um, on my wall as a reminder of striving for performance. Um, for me, the Olympics is probably the height of performance. It's um, a four year journey for people, eight year, 10 year, 12 year, lifetime journey just to get to the Olympics. Whoa. Storms are coming to Durban. Um, lifetime dream uh, for people and to be around that level of performance, I think will be extremely stimulating. So that's the next thing. Next photo, house by the sea. Um, I would love to wake up next to the ocean to be able to go to sleep, my windows open, hearing the sound of the ocean, wake up. Looking at the ocean, I think it's very therapeutic. Um, there's just something about the ocean that uh, really stimulates me. So 
So one of my dreams is to uh, wake up to the sound of waves on a regular basis and go to sleep to the sound of the waves. And my final photo, that is the in Vienna. On New Year's Day, there's a New Year's Day concert of Johann Strauss's uh, waltzes. Um, since it's one of my happiest memories as a kid is growing up and on New Year's Day going down with the family, turning on the TV and listening to the New Year's Day concert in Vienna. So that's one of my dreams is to be able to go have a New Year's Eve in Vienna and then on New Year's Day go to the concert. So those are the photos that I have up uh, in my office which are reminders of certain things that I want to achieve. Um, and again, when I look at those um, it's, it's what those photos mean to me. It's not so much about the, the adventure or the event that I'm going to attend. It's what it is that brings to my life. The house brings me serenity. The music is, brings me peace and a connection to um, history, which I love. The Olympics is all about being inspired by others and being surrounded by, by performance. Base Camp of Everest is the same thing. It's challenging myself and being around by, by beauty. Stepping foot into every continent is about learning new things on a regular basis. So what kind of things do you have up on your wall? What kind of ambitions and goals have you set yourselves? Not business related goals, but things that you want to achieve in your life, adventures you want to have. And what do those adventures say about you and why are they important to you? So that I would leave you with some uh, really, hopefully some really stimulating and exciting thoughts for the weekend. Maybe by the end of the weekend, you've printed off some pictures that you've got to have up in your office about things that you're aspiring to do and adventures you're excited, uh, aspiring to undertake. And really think about the reasons um, you want to undertake those. So I wish you a great weekend. I hope you recharge, get on top of what you want to get on, charge, uh, well, get on top of. And I will be speaking to you next week. Good night. Goodbye.